hello everyone welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing i hope you guys are doing well today i'm going to show you how to make nigerian pepper soup nigerian pepper soup is very easy to make the most important thing is to get the right ingredients once you get the ingredients right your pepper soup will come out tasting very delicious so i paired this with rice so as usual i'm going to share with you so just open your mouth and take it enjoy it <laughs> Follow the same procedure. I'm sure you get the same result. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. So let's get right into this video. So this is everything I used. I have Uziza seed right here. I'm working with goat intestine and Uziza seed goes so well with goat intestine. So it's important you add it. Here I have Ehu seed or Ehuru. I bought this ones cracked. So they are cracked already. Otherwise they come in a shell. You will have to crack it open and then bring out this seed from it. I have two Uda seed, onions, um, this size of ginger, scotch bonnet pepper, seasoning cubes. I have salt. I have crayfish and I have the goat intestine. You can use goat meat or any other meat of your choice. So I'm going to cut this udder open and take out the seed. For this pepper soup, I'm going to be using only the back. If you don't have the whole spices just like this, you can buy the grounded pepper soup spice, but I prefer to use this ones. That way I know what I'm adding and what I'm not adding. I'm going to peel the onions, chop it and wash it before putting it in the blender. Wash and cut the ginger and then throw it into the blender. So I'm going to wash this uda before putting it inside the blender. I'll wash my ehu seed. I bought this ehu seed cracked so you don't even know how they've been handled. So I like to wash everything before blending. So after washing the Uziza seed, pour it into a strainer so you don't lose them. The seeds are very tiny. 
before you now transfer it into your blender. Add enough water into the blender and blend until it is very smooth. Make sure you blend this very smooth so you don't bite into uda seed, ehu seed when you're eating the pepper soup. So next I'm going to add the meat to the pot. Then I'll pour in the blended pepper and spices. I'll add seasoning cube, a pinch of salt and allow it to cook for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, the meat is almost defrosted. I'm going to try to break it up with my wooden spatula. Now I'm going to add enough water to cook this meat. I knew the right quantity to add, so I added everything at once. But in the process of cooking, if you find that the meat is still tough and then the water is drying up as you cook, add a bit more water and let it cook completely. But I added just enough water to cook the meat and I cooked it for another 35 minutes and after 35 minutes the meat was soft and tender and it was so delicious. So before I covered it I added one cube of um, seasoning and salt to taste. Thirty-five to forty minutes later, my meat was perfectly cooked. I'm just going to stir it now, and then I didn't show you guys, but I'm going to add um, just a sprinkle of sweet peppers for garnishing. You know, we have to do it for the gram. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have added it. But I'll add a few um, sweet red pepper just to garnish it. mix 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 and your pepper soup is ready you can enjoy it like this you can add yam or plantain to this if you're going to add yam or plantain please add it 15 minutes to when the meat is going to be cooked so they can all cook together you can have it with rice like i'll be having mine with rice so i'm going to serve my own now i'll take pictures then i'll now pose and enjoy this food with my rice don't you feel like taking one meat from this plate now eh don't you feel like taking one from the plates? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't go yet. Before you go, I'm going to feed you at the end of this video. You know I love to share. I'll feed you at the end of this video. So watch till the end, okay? If you made it to the end of this video, this food is for you. Just open your mouth. Open your mouth. Eat the whole meat. Carry the plate. Finish it. Okay? It is for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy. Bye.